So Huntington's disease is a progressive brain disorder. It's caused by a known gene mutation. And the gene was actually discovered in 1993, but up till now we still don't have a cure for it. So the, the disease causes a dance-like chorea movement in the patients um, and also mood changes. I look at a thing called histone modifications. So histones are these little ball type molecules that DNA winds around. And these histones can have little chemicals added to them. And so it becomes like a ball with protruding bits coming out of it. So we study the disease in healthy compared to Huntington's disease brains. And these are brains that have been gifted to the, human, the Neurological Foundation Human Brain Bank and we're able to study these, so after the people have died, they, they gift us these brains. Um, and in these brains, we can see when we compare the healthy to the Huntington's, that actually this um, modification, this where the molecules are protruding out, that's really increased in Huntington's disease. Because we're looking at the end stage of the disease, so these people have died, we don't actually have enough information to say whether this change that we're seeing is causing the disease or actually a product of the disease. So it's like a chicken or an egg, right? We don't actually know whether it's cause or consequence. So what I'm really interested in is being able to study the disease at an earlier stage so that we can investigate whether by manipulating um, diet or by introducing different drugs, can we actually alter the disease progression?